Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using the first problem off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are ordering integers here, and we know that they are integers because they are all whole numbers, and they are either positive or negative. And this is actually one of the more simple problems that you will see within this 6.2 strand uh, because we're not having to convert fractions or percents or anything like that. So we just need to order these, and really the only trick is they are listed in degrees, and they have positive and negative. So we're supposed to show them in order from coldest to warmest. So we don't know least to greatest, but we are going to have to make an inference as to what that means. And let's go ahead and figure that out. Uh, when something goes from cold to warm, that means it's getting hotter. That means the temperature is getting greater. Uh, so most of us can probably figure out we are going to go from least to greatest rather than greatest to least. So how do we order these numbers from least to greatest. Well, there's a few different ways we can do it, but the way I want us to do is I just want us to take each of these uh, numbers here, A, B, C, D. We're going to create these little number lines, and we're just going to put them. So least to greatest really means left to right. And we're just going to see, are we putting these numbers on our number lines from left to right? And the only thing I want us to do here is while we're building all of these, and we'll see uh, three of these will obviously be wrong, one of these will be correct. The only point I want us to put in the middle is a zero, and thankfully it actually is one of our numbers, so we'll have to keep track of that. But this is going to kind of anchor us, because everything to the left is going to be negative, right? Everything to the right is going to be positive. And so that zero is really going to anchor us here. So let's look at A. So we are going to start with negative 10. And so since we don't really have any other numbers, we're not really sure where negative 10 goes. I'm just going to kind of put it right here in the middle. And I'm going to say negative 10. So that's going to be my first number. My next number is going to be 8. So I don't really know where that goes. I'm just going to put it right over here. I know it's on the positive side. So that's 8. So I've so far, I've gone from least to greatest and coldest to warmest. But look at my third number. Now I'm going back to negative 5. So negative 5 sits between 0 and negative 10, because there's like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. But this is going to be incorrect, because look what I had to do. I had to go from negative 10 up to 8, and then back, and that is not in order. We go from one direction to the next. So let's try that with the others. So B, negative 5. So let's just kind of put negative 5 right here in the middle. Not sure where it goes yet. We do know it goes on the negative side. B has negative 10. So negative 10 is going to be over to the left, because if we've got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, then negative 6, 7, 8, 9 and negative 10. Negative 10 is going to be over here, but look at my problem. I've gone from warmer to colder. I mean, we're not going to call negative 5 warm, but it is warmer than negative 10. So we're moving in the wrong direction. So B is also going to be incorrect, because remember, we're supposed to try to go from left to right. That's our goal. That is least to greatest, coldest to warmest. Let's try C. C has got negative 10, so let's put negative 10. Typically, those end up over here on this side, so let's just put, thankfully, we're using the same digits in all of these answer selections. So negative 10, negative 5 is in between negative 10 and 0. Oh, and then we finally get to put 0 there, so there's my 0. I'll put a big 0, and then 8. So look at that. I went from negative 10 to negative 5 to 0 to 8. I'm thinking that's it. And let's check D. We got 0, and then we got negative 5. Oh, look at that. Wrong direction. That's moving from warmer to colder. I don't even have to do the rest, so my answer is going to be C.